Hi, for those of you do, of you who don't know me, my name is Martin Robb. I, I grew up in Claremont Parish Church, but now I live in Hungary uh, with my wife, Iboya, and my three kids, Julia, who's 15, David or David, who's 12, and Jasmine, who's 10. I work for Wycliffe Bible Translators, uh, sending Hungarians abroad all around the world to help make the Bible available for everyone in their own mother tongue. Normally we'd be at home in Scotland at this time of year, but that's not possible this year, so Gordon asked me to give you an update. Thanks be to God, so far the, the virus has probably affected Hungary a lot less severely than in many other countries. Hungary is about twice the size of Scotland, but only, only, 600 people have died directly from the virus and amazingly less people have died in Hungary over the last six months than we'd normally do at this time of year. Our shutdown, shut, we've had a shutdown just like everyone in Scotland, uh, perhaps with two bigger difference, two big differences. Uh, the shutdown here started sooner and it finished sooner. Uh, almost everything was back to pretty much normal uh, by the second half, second half of June. And just by example, we had our first church service uh, on again on the 17th of May, though obviously with masks and, and, and social distancing. I know that the lockdown was tough for, for many people, but for, if I'm really honest, as a family, we probably almost enjoyed it. Uh, life is normally a bit too busy, and it was great to just have a bit of a break and have, have lots more time together as a family. Uh, our kids coped fine with online school, uh, and my wife, Iboya, managed, who's a teacher, a uh, primary school teacher, uh, managed to teach her class of seven year olds uh, online. I managed to get more work done probably than normally, and probably I feel on top of my work for the first time for ages. The summer, to be honest, has been a bit more difficult. Uh, we would normally spend most of it with the wider family. Uh, we can't go to my parents in East Kilbride, uh, nor can we go to Iboya's parents in Carpathian, Ukraine, and nor can they come here. Uh, but thankfully, everyone's well, and at least we have the technology so that we can keep in touch. Let me say a few words about my work with Wycliffe uh, over the past few months, uh, concentrating maybe on three topics. Firstly, regarding the work here in Hungary, obviously we've had to cancel lots and lots of things. Uh, we've done lots and lots of things online and it's really difficult to plan for the next six to 12 months. But all those things are probably true for every single organization all around the world. Secondly, regarding our missionaries who serve abroad, each one of them had to take decisions quickly in March about what to do. And looking back, all those decisions have had really big consequences. Those who chose to stay where they were abroad are pretty, now pretty much stuck where they are, at least for the time being. And those of who chose to come home and are now here at home in Hungary uh, now really can't go back. But in many ways, the work of Bible translation can continue despite all the restrictions. Just, just one example. One of our Hungarian missionaries, who's a translation consultant, should be in Zambia right now uh, to check the draft translation of First Corinthians for a specific people group there. Instead, this week, they're doing the, the check together online using Skype or going line by line or word by, and word by word through the text uh, with people joining from about five different locations. Uh, it's not the best way to do a, a check of a translation, but it can be done. Uh, and it's at least the second one that, that she's been involved in over the last couple of months. Thirdly, uh, my, regarding my own work, I do finances to
take care of finances for Wicked of Hungary. Uh, I normally work from home anyway, so the whole situation hasn't really changed my work very much at all. Uh, naturally, we were and we, we are a bit concerned about the economic impact on our finances. But overall, so far, we have been amazed at, at how many of our supporters have managed to continue supporting the work financially. Uh, our, our missionaries continue to have probably enough support uh, and those of us who work in our office, uh, although we could, we could do with some more support, our, the levels are probably fairly similar to, to the previous year. So let me just say above all thank you to all those at Claimant who continue to support my work with Wycliffe in whatever way that, that happens. Uh, which enables Hungarians to, to work on Bible translations for people groups in many different parts of the world. And let me just close by uh, saying together with Paul, as he wrote in Philippians 1, 3-5, I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel. May God take care of each one of you and enable you to support each other through this difficult time. Thank you for watching and for listening. All the best. God bless.